Hello, and thank you for watching our newest video. It would appear that our forest has been totally repopulated, both with new animals and new caretakers. Miss Cow is pregnant here. However, he continues to work for a living. She gathers the milk and sells it to the jungle's other animals. Hello, Miss Cow. Why are you doing all of this dust when you're pregnant? Take a break. If I relax, who will feed me? I'm not going to sell you milk today. She sells all of her milk to Mr. Monkey and Mr. Lion. She afterwards goes to Mr. Bear Market to buy some fruits. Purchasing fruits is costly. Why waste money when we may search about and see if we can find any food? She discovers leftover food in the trash and goes there to eat it all. She has pains after a few days. And quickly rushes to the hospital. I'm having labor pains. Could you please deliver me here for free? I'm so sorry, Miss Cow. We also need to survive. What? Okay. I'm not going to spend my money. I'm going to locate a location to give birth to my children. She walks to the bush, finds a cave, and gives birth to her children there. Surprisingly, she gives birth to 12 children at a time. It is just for me that eating is hard. How will I care for these 12 children? I should either leave them here and go or sell them. Meanwhile, the wise fox studies everything and slowly walks to the cow, saying thus. I understand how tough it is to raise these 12 babies for you. Give me everything and I will raise and take care of them for free. Take them all, as you say. Mr. Elephant, Mr. Lion, what? and Mr. Deer will visit the cow. Oh, no! With fear, the fox will flee. Mr. Elephant, on the other hand, catch him and kicks him well. You do not need to be concerned about your children. We all will help you. So don't leave your children to anyone. Thank you so much for all of your help. I'm sorry. I've learned my lesson. I want to work hard and raise all of my children on my farm. Twelve calves thereafter live peacefully on her farm. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Crocodile is getting restless. Let's get a closer look at him and see what is he up to. No, my tummy is rumbling and I am very, very hungry. I have to get something soon. I'll go and look for some food. I'll go sneak in slowly and eat one of these ducks, which are by the river. I hope I'll get a good catch of it. Here I go.
No, no, I missed it. Let me try the paddle. No, oh. Run. There's a croc. Run. Oh, no. It's trying to eat us. Run. Get away from here. Let's run too. I guess I drove all of the away. I am left with these fruits. No. But it's okay for now. I'll have these fruits. And have a little nap here. All the cattle hid themselves behind a huge rock. And saw what the crocodile did. We V got to teach him a lesson. Wait up. Where are you going? Look there's something. What is it? Hits a button accidentally. Oh no. You're turning into a tiny one. What's happening to me? Why am I so small? Hold on let me go see the other. Returns back and hits a button again. Oh no. Look you're turning into a giant duck. Nicey. This is what I've been waiting for. Now I'll go teach the croc a lesson. Hey, you. Wake up. Who is this? I see big feet. Oh no. Run. Come on now. Let's get you back to your normal size. Here you go. Happily live they. Mm -hmm. 